Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, students, those, those who are present here today, a good morning to you. Uh, probably you are, you are looking for program for you to study or probably are waiting for your result or you're going for exam. Uh, 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 you are, I'm not sure yet, but uh, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do today is to, to um, expose to you what is business all about. Uh, you know, uh, what, what, what is the study about business? Uh, probably some of the students, if you just say you're fresh from school, probably um, you might not know. Uh, I mean, business sound is so common. Uh, everywhere you can see there be a business program. Right? But, but uh, there's a difference between when you are studying uh, business at other university as compared to help. I will share to you today why students, if they want to study business, they should study at help university. Yeah? So that's my, what my talk is all about. Yeah? I will expose to you what is uh, business uh, at least you have uh, some idea about what business and uh, more important is that uh, what type of career that uh, business program can lead you to. Yeah? Okay, that's what my talk is about. Maybe just a, just a starter, uh, I would like to, 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 to teach you a little bit lah, about what business, how people run business. If you see this picture here, this, this picture actually uh, photograph, I have actually I snapped it outside of giant supermarket. So you can see there are two cards there. One card shows um, uh, Giant with Malaysia flag because Giant is a local Malaysian brand. And uh, they're, they're putting some item into the card. And the next to it also the same card, uh, I mean the different card, but with the same, exactly the same product that put inside, you know. So, but uh, at Giant, the cost of the whole thing is 133 ringgit and 55 cents. Whereas the other card, it shows 155.87, which is more expensive. And here, what it shows here is that a British flag. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm muted just now. I'm not sure what happened. But anyway, I just um, um, continue from where I stopped. Okay, um, there are two cards here. One is uh, belong to Giant and the other one is uh, it shows uh, a, a British flag and other. And then be dot, dot, dot. we know this is actually the logo of, of uh, a Tesco. Yeah? And uh, what they, 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 they're trying to do is in this outlet in Giant, um, they're trying to tell the consumer that actually in Giant, when you buy things, it is cheaper than, uh, than uh, what I call, um, than uh, in Giant can, as compared to Tesco. So that's what they try to portray to the consumer. So if the consumer feel that, yeah, 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 Giant products are cheaper, it can attract them to the store. So it's a very simple concept. But the, the point is, is this fact correct? You know, it, uh, uh, is it uh, the price at Giant is, is cheaper than in, uh, in uh, Tesco? So this that's the question that uh, I need to ask you. But um, um, that anybody knows? Yes, Yen Yi, you're there. Do you think so? Okay, probably maybe you, you, are, you are not answering, but it doesn't matter. Let, let, let me give the answer to you. Actually, is, uh, there, there's, it, this is only half facts, half correct. Why is it half correct? Because at, at, at uh, Giant, yes, if you take all these product compared to the, the same product in Tesco, it's, it's cheaper, it's true. But they're only selective. They are the product that they pick are very selective. Anything cheaper, they put inside this card. Anything more expensive, they don't put it inside. Uh, so this is a way to actually to um, um, influence the consumer to, to tell the consumer that giant product is actually cheaper than in Tesco, but it's not totally true. But of course, this is how companies sometimes, they want to influence consumer. They do such things. Okay, so this one example of how business... Okay, next. Um, okay. Okay, if you look at here, what do we have? What do we have in um, in, um, in, uh, in 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 business? Yeah, at, uh, at help, at help, we got a very wide range of of uh, program for you to pick. If you can see a long list, right from accounting to until the diploma. Besides, it's the long list of uh, program. And uh, at, at help, we have such a wide scope of program that student can cater it for their own needs. All right, for example, uh, some of you, if you're probably you're good at uh, mathematics, then probably you can take program like accounting, finance, um, business analytics, yeah, economics, uh, business analytics, 
Oh, sorry, there's a repeat here. So this is we're trying to say that they actually uh, cater for uh, different needs of the students. If you are good in mathematics, then you take certain program. And if you are good in, uh, for example, more of a people, uh, what I call uh, people-oriented type person, that means you are you're very sociable, you are very outgoing, probably certain other program that is good will fit you well, like management, for example, marketing, human resource, uh, international business, even entrepreneurship, if you are a very entrepreneur kind of mindset, then probably can go into entrepreneurship. You want to be your own boss and so forth. Then, of course, hospitality, tourism. So we have pro program that cater for different needs of the students. So there's a wide scope for you to pick from. So you don't need to worry that, you know, I don't have this and then so forth. So we have a lot of program that you can actually pick from. Yeah. So this is, we have a wide scope of that. I will go one by one to actually to explain to you. Uh, I, I mean, I give you a gist of it. Lah. That means to understand uh, accounting a little bit, what is accounting all about, finance and so forth. Because all these uh, terms, probably some of them you haven't heard before. Uh, something is new to you. You don't know what, what type of program they are and where, where, what type of career they lead you to. So this is uh, what I'm going to do today. Yeah. Now let's go into accounting. Probably you might be familiar with accounting. You heard about, about accounting, but but studying accounting, your objective uh, goal at the end, you should be a chartered accountant. Uh, a chartered accountant is a professional. Uh, it's a professional uh, qualification that actually can take you anywhere in the world. Yeah. If you have, uh, for example, your chartered accountant, you have completed your ACCA. You can go anywhere in the world. It's a passport to go to anywhere to work. I have students who actually, after completion of their chartered accountant, they went to Sweden to work for a number of years, went to South America and eventually came back. So it, it does help in the student's career. So if you like accounting, like I think accounting is more of uh, balancing accounts and, and, and things like that. Um, but of course, it does not, your career does not just uh, mean that you do accounting you'll be doing accounts for the rest of your life. People like Tony Fernandez, he's a chartered accountant. Uh, eventually, he became the CEO of, uh, of Air Asia. Uh, so that is one possibility. Yeah? So uh, it doesn't limit you to only accounting areas. Uh, but of course, most of the time, uh, if you do accounting, you land up in uh, accounting firms and all that. And that's where you build up your career. Yeah? Now, what is so good about accounting uh, program in uh, help? Uh, we have maximum exams from all the professional bodies, whether it's ACCA or whether CP Australia, ICW, uh, our Malaysian, and also with uh, sorry MAIC, SA, and also MIA. Yeah? So these are all professional bodies, uh, and they give you maximum exemption if you study our accounting degree. Uh, so this is something that you need to take note of. And then, in fact, just to let you know, CPA Australia. We are the first, Health Ministry is the first institution of private education that actually has the full accreditation from CPA Australia in Malaysia. So we are the first one. We have a long history of our accounting program. So this is one program that you can think about. And the second thing, our accounting program, we have the accelerated ACCA, meaning you can, you can complete your, because normally most of the student, they, 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 they will complete off uh, accounting degree and what happened after that is that uh, after completion, they have maximum of nine paper exam exemption from ACCA. And then they went to further their studies in professional uh, studies in uh, as a chartered to become a chartered accountant. Yeah, so they get the maximum exemption. So that's normal, the normal pathway for most of the students. But at health, when you are studying our accounting degree at the final year, you are allowed to take the ACCA paper. Uh, so, it, I mean, as a student at the help, you already can do the ACCA paper because if you do our accounting uh, program, you can actually, you have, uh, after completion, you have about four paper to take to become a chartered accountant. So, the four paper, back two of the papers, you can take it during your final year. Uh, so, what we did was actually we, 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 we met the, the syllabus of the ACCA to our final year paper. So when you're studying for one paper, you'll be preparing you for that professional accounting. So if you're good in that, 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 that uh, what we call uh, subject, then probably can go and take uh, the seat for this professional body uh, papers outside. Uh, so you can, you can uh, after completion of our accounting degree, you can actually um, uh, 
uh, become a chartered accountant faster in the sense that uh, completion of our ACCA. Yeah, okay, so that's what uh, our accounting is all about. And then, of course, finance is an, an area. Okay, maybe I would like to tell you what, what is finance all about. Finance is, uh, you know, like banks, for example, they have a lot of uh, saving they collect from their the, uh, customers who put their saving into, into the banks. Now, all this uh, money that they have, they just don't store it in their safe. You know, the money won't grow. So what the bank has to do is they have to do investment. Yeah, they have to do investment. They can invest in stocks, in, in, in share market, they can, can in properties, in a future market, in a commodities market, and so forth. They, can, they have to do investment. Because from investment, then only they can make money. Yeah? They have to grow their money. So what they did is they need to invest. They do a lot of investment. But, but of course, uh, the next question students might ask me, then how do we do investment? Then you study finance. Uh, finance is all about investing how to grow the money and, and so forth. Yeah? So a lot of big multinational companies will have finance people to actually to see the cash flow of the, the company, to, to, to see how to, how to grow the money and so forth. Yeah? So this is what we call a finance. You can join the, uh, 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 what we call uh, security firms and all that. Yeah? So what is so good about our finance program, uh, our fi finance program in, in, in help, uh, first thing is uh, to let you know that we have the biggest Bloomberg Finance Lab. Uh, we have the biggest in Malaysia. So all these are, 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 are Bloom you see here in the picture here, these are all the Bloomberg Lab where they are live data. That means every time the, 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 the share, share price uh, changes, it will show you that it's live data. Uh, so this is where our student, even our, even our diploma student, they have already a chance to, to actually use this Bloomberg Lab, yeah. So when, uh, by by having this experience of uh, using Bloomberg Lab, next time when they come out, they'll be more ready for the job market. Uh, definitely, if you know how how to use all this Bloomberg Lab, uh, of course, these finance people they need all this, and you're already an advantage over other other students. So this is why if you want to study finance, you should you should join help. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we have a subject, uh, and then interesting that we have this subject called technical analysis and trading, where our students are, are taught how to do. A report. Uh, so if you look at the share market, a lot of time uh, uh, there are share uh, property or, or you know report that come up from the certain firms, security firms, and all that. So these are, are where our students already trained how to write this report. Yeah, we have uh, a student who come and come back and tell us that they got a job because they know how to do a uh, technical analysis and training report. That's the reason why they are employed by companies. So this can to ensure you that our students are very well trained before they actually go out to the job market. Yeah. Okay, this is the, the newspaper cutting I show you, largest Bloomberg lab in uh, at Help Misty. Okay, next is the uh, marketing. Maybe I'll expose you a bit of marketing. If you are a very people-oriented type of person, that means you are very outgoing, you are very sociable, probably you can think about marketing because marketing is where you need to meet clients, you need to meet uh, customers. Uh, these are marketing people. Yeah, if you go to the, probably to the uh, giant supermarket or Tesco, you can, there, there will be a, re, a marketing manager there. Yeah, they do all the, the you know, all the displays, uh, all the promotion. Uh, this is all done by marketing people. Yeah, so in fact, uh, what's so good about marketing is that our marketing program, in fact, if you can check with the, uh, our competitors uh, uh, that, that, that has marketing program, you will realize that their year one, year two, they are still studying very general papers, very, very general business subject. But at the help, you can see that our year two students already starting to take a lot of marketing subject. They are very, very exposed to the, in the area of marketing. And when you come to the final year, you can actually uh, pick two different pathways, which is you say, sir, I want to go to the e-commerce pathway. Yeah, of course, then you take up all these subjects that, is, that will lead you to the e-commerce, uh, web design, digital payment, cyber law, e-commerce, and so forth. Or you say, sir, I want to join the digital business pathway. They can go into digital marketing, mobile marketing, digital product management, search marketing, social media marketing, and so forth. So you can go into these two different pathways. So it's, it, our marketing is not only have a lot of, of uh, areas that we are exposing students to marketing, but at the final year, they can pick their own pathway also. Uh, this is something that, uh, that what we have that uh, so unique about our marketing program. Okay. 
And then we look at uh, others. We have international business, uh, management, and human resource. Okay, probably just to, to tell you what is international business study is all about. Actually, is uh, in general, international business is a study about business, uh, generally about business, but their focus is more on the context of international. The context is very international. They, they expose you to you about international marketing, for example, uh, international law, uh, how people do business in the different different uh, countries, uh, cultural factors will come in and so forth. Uh, so they expose you more on that kind of uh, international context. That the difference between the business to the others. Then of course we have the human resource. Human resource is a very popular uh, program because jobs are available in a lot of places in any company that uh, 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 there will always be a, a what you call a human resource department where all these are human resource people, that, that's where they work. But what do they do is they come up with policies for the staff, they do a payroll, they do training for the staff to make sure that their the, the, the workers are, 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 are trained you know, to do specific jobs and so forth. So that's the job of the human resource. And this is the jobs are available in everywhere. Yeah. So in terms of job opportunities, they're, they're always there. And a lot of uh, human resource uh, personnel they will eventually lend themselves in training because sometimes they do training for, for, for companies and all that. So they eventually can, they can venture into that area. Yeah? Then, of course, I have management. I let you understand a little bit of management. Yeah? Uh, management study is actually is very general. You are actually studying everything, in fact. Yeah? It's not like the other program. They are very specialized accounting, finance, human. They are very specialized. But management, you are, what you are studying is actually is uh, about, you know, as, as a manager, you have to have you have to have a lot of knowledge in different different areas. Like you have to, you know, as a manager, for example, you are managing a, 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 an office, for example, you have to know how to manage the staff. You have to know about human resource. You have to manage the, the, the money that they use in the, in, 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 the, in, the, in the office. Then of course, you have to know a bit about accounting. Then of course, finance, you know, uh, probably uh, how to, uh, your company's cash flows and, 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 and terms like that. So you need to know about finance. You need to know about uh, marketing, for example. Probably you will need to market your product and so forth. So the, the job of a manager, you need to know a lot of, uh, of uh, areas. And that's where the, the study of management comes in. That means you study everything actually. But you are not going into specialized area. Huh? And, and these man, management people, probably most of the time, if they want to specialize, they go to do their masters. So this is why uh, students do management Program, yeah? So there are some of the points that we have. Okay, the next one is, is economic entrepreneurship, business analytics. I put this in a different slide because these are very uh, quite in a way specialized. And secondly, is that uh, this program, uh, you you not many uh, players in the market. That means not many institutions of higher private institution of high learning has these programs. Yeah, like for example, economics. Not everybody has this. Uh, we are the only one that did, uh, is a, in, a, in a way a pure economic, Bachelor of Economics. In the public university, you can have a lot of economics, but uh, in the private se sector, uh, private institution of high learning, uh, we are the only one having a pure economics. Uh, we even have a, a very highly branded, uh, what we call uh, economic program, in, which where we link with University of London. Yeah, you, you can inquire more about if you, are, you really like uh, a branded economic program also at Help Ministry also we do have this. Uh, at uh, Help Ministry, uh, 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 my department, we are having an economic program. And uh, what does economic uh, do they study? Basically, if you are, want to do economic, you have to be good in mathematics, especially your additional mathematics because we do go into uh, analysis of, uh, a lot of analysis, uh, statistics and, and so forth. Yeah. So how does the, the, the curve of uh, uh, economy increases or reduces and so forth. Like for example, uh, if the petrol price goes up, what happened to the economy? All that. So this a lot of analysis has to be done. And uh, these are all analysis that are uh, done by these economic uh, people or, 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 or those who study in, in economics. You need to do a lot of statistical analysis. Uh, that's where your mathematics comes in. Yeah, And then uh, from the analysis, you uh, actually... Uh, analyzing the economy, for example, and uh, how to to advise um, the management uh, to make decisions. So this is where economics come in. So this is a very 
uh, what I call a uh, popular course in a private in a public university, but in private university is very limited. So we are one of the 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 one the uh, uh, university private university that has economic program. Yeah. Okay. And then of course have entrepreneurship. Not many uh, what I call uh, institution highly also have, have have this entrepreneurship program. Entrepreneurship program if you are very you have a very entrepreneurship uh, mindset that you intend to to open up your own companies or run your own business or a lot of my students actually they join this program because their parents are running business actually so they are trying to have uh, they, they, they're trying to they take this program is actually thinking of how to help their parents cut uh, business to grow you know probably they want to come up with their own business and so forth so this is entrepreneurship and then we have uh, of course we have the business psychology later on i will explain to you a bit of uh, business psychology and also business analytics so these are also another uh, program that is very limited only at uh, at help university that we have this program yeah uh, not many people have having this type of program business and things like um, business psycho psychology yeah probably i'd like to illustrate to you uh, what is the study of business psychology all about if you look at this uh, shopping mall right for example uh, then this lady is moving at the house uh, uh, picking the the, the the what i call the the product at the shelf now you look at the chef, one, two, three, four, five, six, there are six or seven chefs in fact. Yeah, the question is, um, of course, some uh, retailers like to know, when consumer, they walk into the house like that, where is the place that most of the time consumer will look at? Because the more common they look at it, that means that's where they want to display the product there, you know? So that, that's where is a, a customer will be able to see and so forth. So where is the best place? Is it chef one, two, three, four, or five, or six, or seven? So uh, psychologists has make uh, research. They have done research. Uh, very simple. Actually, they just let the 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 what I call the respondent to wear a spectacle, and then they just ask them to go shopping. So they go shopping and all that. And all this, all this uh, because the the spectacle that they wear has a camera that will be recorded into the laptop, and from there they can analyze that actually most of the time consumer will look forty five degrees down. So probably in, in this range. Yeah, these are the range two, three, four. Probably is the best place for them to display their goods. The consumer was most likely will be able to see your product. Uh, so that is the, the the psychological part because there's a human behavior. Psychology lead, uh, psychology actually learns about uh, social behavior, how human behave. Uh, so that is how the psychology do this kind of uh, uh, of training and uh, uh, research, and then we apply it to business. In the business setting, like supermarket, they try to put where where is the best place for them to put their products and so forth. So this is the call. This is what we call as the study about business psychology. Uh, this where 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 there's a business psychology come, comes in, comes in. This is one of the aspect of business psychology. So this will give you an idea about what business psychology is all about. Then of course we have business analytics. Okay, this is a very very new program. Uh, so, so far, only uh, us and one more private institution of higher learning that actually sells this, uh, uh, has this program. Yeah? Now, business analytics, what do they do? Okay, the first thing is business analytics, they use a statistical analysis. They use a lot of statistical analysis, that means data. They use data, they analyze the data, and from this data, they help the management to make decisions. Like, for example, I give a very simple uh, idea about what do they do in the uh, what I call in the uh, business analytic uh, career. Eh? Example, if you look at the MRT every day, people go in and out of the MRT, and then uh, of course there are a lot of data are actually uh, what we call a lot of data actually collected. People pass through their you know the the the, the, the counter uh, entrance to go into MRT in different different station. There are a lot of data collected. They ah. They can tell you actually morning at six o'clock or seven o'clock how many passengers has passed through in and out of that place, uh, and then, and then which destination do they go to, from A to B or A to C or A to C? They have done all this analysis of all the data that they collected, and it is from there that the the, the management will make decision whether to have more trains at six o'clock or seven o'clock. So these are all actual data that actually will help management to make better decision. Uh, so this is uh, one, one uh, aspect of uh, business ana anal analytics. We have uh, in, in this program, you study about business analytics in marketing, in management, in finance, even a bank, for example, customer walk in and walk, walk out. 
they do transactions and so forth, they can tell you uh, at one time is the peak hours. What are the things that the most of uh, customer they do? You know, is it uh, savings or is it is it investing or is it they're doing transaction or transferring money from one place to another and so forth? So these are all data, and uh, in the in the study of business, I think they will they will get all this data to help management make better decision uh, for the for the uh, for the company. So this is what business is all about, and there's very few. Uh, as I told you, very few institutions of higher learning uh, has this program. Okay, so this is some one program that's very in, and uh, this is very new, and probably in three or four years down the road, when you graduate, when you graduate, you will, you will, uh, you will, uh, probably job is waiting for you. Yeah, so it's something that actually you can, uh, you can take note of. Yeah, so this is the program that if you are good at mathematics, this is something that you can uh, study this program. Okay, um, other than what do they have? We have hospitality, we have a tours and travel, yeah? Uh, hospitality and uh, tours and travel. This is another program, two program that we have. This is hospitality. Hospitality, we talk about, uh, of course, you can work in, the, in any type of hospitality kind of uh, setting, like hotels, for example, or in hospitals, for example. They need all these staff who are, who are uh, to serve customers and things like that. So that's called the hospitality. Then we have the tourism. A program also tourism if you're talking about of course uh, now at this pandemic tourism uh, industry is affected but during normal time tourism is actually is the biggest service industry uh, for any um, services yeah tourism is the biggest and it, and a lot of countries countries like thailand greece they are very dependent on uh, tourism and uh, that's the reason why our government is pumping million and million of ringgit Malaysia into the tourism industry to attract uh, tourists into the country. So these are all um, uh, 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 programs that uh, actually uh, uh, careers are always there. Yeah. Okay. Now, of course, uh, I will touch a little bit on why do you? Uh, I mean, why? I mean, I, I've shown you the different area in business uh, program. Um, next is probably to know why do you want to study business that help yeah first thing our program very flexible our students can actually study probably after uh, you know the first year of the degree they can go overseas one plus two or they can study two years with us and then go overseas one year and also they can probably want to finish off totally with us so these are all uh, very flexible and you can check our pricing they are very very affordable as compared to all the other uh, private uh, universities, yeah, you can check that out, yeah. Number two, at the business uh, faculty, we we have very qualified academician to teach you. Our our lecturers, are forty percent of them are having doctorate degree, yeah, doctorate degree. Minimum to teach you actually is the master's degree, but our 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 academics, they're having forty percent of them are having uh, doctorate degree. Yeah, we hire the best and we want we were most qualified people to teach you okay and then of course the third point is we are very globally accepted uh, you after completion of your, your program with us uh, in fact you can can go overseas uh, one year two years or even our diploma students are very well accepted outside yeah you can go into uh, a lot of other programs uh, after completion of our di uh, diploma to overseas university and these overseas university that link up with us are not just any universities they are very high-ranking universities, okay? And then, of course, the fourth point I've told you before, they are, they are professionally accepted. All these professional bodies accept our, our, give us maximum exemption to study their professional uh, program. Uh, and then, of course, the, the fifth one is uh, we, have a, we are the gateway to high-ranking university. University of Queensland, Australian National University, Melbourne University, University of South Australia, all these are all uh, high-ranking universities in Australia that takes our students, yeah? I will tell you a bit more about music Queensland later on. Yeah, okay. Other than that, we provide a very a lot of holistic education, meaning students get a lot, a lot of hands-on experience before they graduate. Later, I will show you some of the slides that what that our student does. Yeah, and of course, we are one of the biggest uh, business school for a private university, and we have special program as I showed you just now: entrepreneurship, economics, uh, business psychology, business analytics. Not many people has this program. We are we we, we are the the few that has. This program, yeah. Then, of course, the third one, the last one is the provide scholarship. We have given so much scholarship to help our students. 
Yeah, 20 million until today. Yeah, later I'll show you what are the scholarship available for you. So maybe if you're interested, you can apply for a scholarship. And, and not only scholarship from us, but even scholarship from our partner university in Australia and UK. Right? Now, method, I will tell you a bit about diploma. If just say you are a student from uh, SPM, uh, having a SPM collection or O levels, probably you can consider our diploma. Yeah, uh, why do you want to, st to study a diploma? Is the reason in number one, um, diploma will provide students with clear direction. If you study our diploma, for example, you are exposed to all the different different areas. The study of diploma in business is very general study. You study everything, accounting, finance, economic, management, uh, finance, uh, and, and so forth. So you're studying, in, in fact, you study everything about business. Yeah, and that is a good exposure for you after completion of a two years diploma. You can actually pick your major. You will know, yes, I like to study marketing or I like to study business analytics or I like to study economic. You can pick the different different major. Yeah, so this is one of, the, of the, the, the reason why you should study our diploma. Number two, we have a fast track to complete a bachelor degree. After completion of two years in a diploma, when you join the degree, you just need 1.5 years to complete your degree. So it's a fast track. It's faster. That means 2 plus 1.5, after completion of an SPM or O level, you only need 3.5 years to complete the degree. It's very fast. Right? You don't, don't need four years. All right? So this is something that you can think of. And then not only 3.5 years with us, you can even go to overseas universities like uh, Macquarie University. You can go to University of Wollongong in Australia to complete out your degree in 1.5 years. That means after finishing your diploma, you can go over there for 1.5 years to complete your degree. Uh, so this is something that uh, you can go overseas and you can finish faster also. And then we have a very affordable option. Uh, our, our program are very affordable. Uh, for example, uh, to study our from diploma to degree, you take about 77K uh, in total, like everything in. Uh, and you can complete in 3.5 years. And you can apply for PTPTN loan. Uh, diploma, you study diploma, you can apply for PTPTN loan. Assuming that you can get the loan, your, your PTN loan can cover 40% of your, of your fees. So the balance, you can, you can just pay off uh, what I call, uh, uh, it will be quite affordable for you. So it won't be that expensive to study our business degree. Yeah? Then, of course, if you join our diploma and eventually join our degree, we have this called 10 days overseas study trip. We have a tour for you. We will take the student not for a holiday, but it's more of a study tour. Some of you might not have the opportunity to actually to go overseas to study because to go to overseas to study is quite expensive. Uh, if your parent cannot afford it, then of course this is an opportunity for you to actually to experience to go uh, for a study tour. We will be link up to 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 either Australia or China, uh, and uh, and and then we will we, we will have a session by by certain universities that we we, we work with, you know, to give you some some uh, experience of how students study overseas. Uh, so this is something that it, it is very, uh, uh, what I call, uh, good experience for all our students. And we will, we will subsidize, subsidize all the students for about 3,000. This can cover almost uh, probably 75% uh, um, uh, of your cost to go over there. So it's, it's worth the while to go. Yeah, This is something subsidized by us. Now, of course, the last one, we have a bursary. If you join our diploma, we have a 20% bursary for you. And then, of course, uh, our program are very flexible, as I told you. You can, you can study completely with us, or you can, after diploma, you can go overseas. You can have a 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 2 and so forth. So it's very, very flexible. And, of course, as I told you, it is the gateway to international university. Even our diploma, you can go to a lot of university overseas, whether in the UK, whether in Australia. So it's, it is all, they accept our help, help student. Then, of course, our diploma program is very practical and very application-based. Yeah, later on, I'll show you yeah, some of the things that our student do, does. Yeah? Okay, apart from that, we have a lot of scholarship, as I told you. Maybe I share with you, we have a distinction award. If your SPM result is good, of course, we have an award for you. Even three, three, three A's or four A's, we already have some bursaries for you. Then we have the Merit Award, where if you do well, you're in the studying years, your year one, first year, year in diploma, you do well. The second year, we'll award you with, with, with some Merit Award. Then you can get a 3.8, we can give you up to about 7,000 uh, uh, ringgit Malaysia for your second year. 
yeah, and so forth. Yeah, and then if you are our diploma complete, our diploma if a good result, we also award you when you go to the degree. So these are all available for our students. Then we have the package deal. Just now I told you a bit about the. We give you a study tour. Uh, add in if you join our diploma, and then we we have a study tour for you also. We have this package for you. Then we have the diploma special award if your result is eight A's and above, whether it's O level or SPM. We got eight A's. Now we we have uh, this diploma special scholarship that you can apply with for yeah. And of course we have the Sasa scholarship where we look into your your school activity. We have certain scholarship for this kind of uh, if students are active in the co-curricular, you have a bursary for that. And of course the last one sports scholarship if you represented the state or or the, or the national the uh, uh, the na na national for certain sports and all that we can give you sports scholarship also. We have that also. Some of the scholarship come up to about 50%, 75% or even 100%. So these are all, we, do we have all this for the students, yeah? Okay, probably I will just go to show you some light, uh, something uh, lighter now. It is more about our, our ex-student. These are all our diploma student who has started with diploma, went to study degree years one year and then went over to UDC Queensland with the scholarship, yeah? We have scholarship. Later I'll tell you more about the scholarships. Go to UDC Queensland with scholarship and then after completion of degree, he, he was given a scholarship to study his master's, complete his master's. He was given a scholarship to study his doctorate. And today, this Dr. Kelvin is already a lecturer in the University of Queensland. He comes from Fong Yu School, where when he first time joined, he can hardly speak English. And today, he's teaching a student in, uh, in uh, UC Queensland uh, to, the Australian, uh, to the Australian over there. So this is our own help diploma students. This is another one. She's a ping pong player. She represented the country and uh, she started off very weak, uh, very weak result. Her SPM only got two credit, uh, UEC only got one credit. She started a certificate, eventually joined a diploma. And for diploma, she improved so much. She went to the degree, completed her accounting degree, and now she is with KPMG. Uh, this, is success, this is one of the success stories of our students who came in as a weak student, but eventually they become, uh, they are they're employed by, by big, uh, accounting firms, yeah. Then of course this is a swimmer, uh, it's a national swimmer. She has uh, actually uh, 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 what I call uh, financially difficulty. She, she took some of our financial assistance. We give a scholarship, and eventually she completed her diploma, and now she's already uh, what I call running her own club, swimming club. Then this this another student coming from a diploma, and now uh, got uh, got a very good result. He got the Hong Kong scholarship for that. And eventually she completed our accounting uh, degree and now he is with Ernest and Young. Okay, this is another student who came in with our diploma, studied our year two degree and he got a scholarship to study in UC of Queensland. Uh, this is all our success story. This is our possibility of you having a uh, getting scholarship from overseas also. Okay, uh, this is what our student does. You can see here, this is at this Shopee. Nowadays everybody knows who Shopee is but uh, three years ago nobody knows what Shopee when they first came into the market. So our student actually, they did a launch. These are all our students. They, they organize a launch. They get singers to come in. and things. They're all done by our students for Shopee. They were given 20,000 to do this. So our student had actually uh, does have a uh, hands-on experience to actually do all this. They're all business students. Okay. Uh, they do charity for, for student home, student, uh, what I call uh, uh, orphanage and all that. They run program for them. Okay, and then uh, this is uh, our our business student, marketing student. What they did was they all. If you see, they are all non malays But what they did was uh, we 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 link up with this this company that they sell the headdress. This they call it the tudong and all that. Uh, and uh, what happened is they they give them the product, they give them the store, they open up the store there, they open up their their their, their display everything. They have some attraction here, some games to attract people, and then after that they start to sell their the headdress and all that. So this is what done by our student themselves. Yeah, and then on that weekend, they have a chance to sell their product during the Saturday, Sunday. And uh, they can actually, they, they actually managed to have a sales of 1,400 for that weekend. So this is all our help student. And they're selling product that they don't use. Uh, so these are the experience that our student has. So this is what we do for our help, our business student. And then they will tell you something about uh, this UDC Queensland in their website. They, 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 they really, uh, what I call, um, commended about our help student. Help student, help universities graduate, excel at UQ. Then our help students are doing very well over in UQ. Uh, a lot of 100 over students that we sent over there, uh, 15 of them came back with a first class degree. 
from a high-ranking university. New Zealand Queensland is ranked 48 in the world. And these are all our help students is, is, is joining this high-ranking university and they come back with, with good results. Okay, these are all our links. We have a lot of links with uh, uh, what we call the universities are all over this in Australia. Yeah, all the universities that link up with us, so many. In 2 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 2 and so forth. So these are all universities that link up with us from Australia. Yeah, I won't go into deeper into this. This in UK, these are the universities that link up with our students. 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1 and so forth. And even a diploma student, they can even go directly to UK. So all these are all possible. They accepted our, uh, what we call our, our help. Uh, qualification yeah this is australia and so forth i won't go into deeper into this okay this is what i'm going to show you is this is our staff our staff in uh, in uh, help uh, you can see that the number of, of lecturers having a doctorate degree uh, we, we have about 40 percent okay and then of course i will maybe touch a bit of scholarship it's all available uh, just to tell you a story i have a student whose father is a hawker and uh, that particular student want, just want to study the degree and finish off. Yeah? But uh, because his result was so good, that he applied for the UQ scholarship and he has a 100% scholarship. He went to UQ and came back. He said this is the dream that he never imagined that he, he will be able to go to Australia to study. With his father, do not have the finance to support him, but because of his scholarship, he eventually went over to Australia and came back. So these are things that can happen. Yeah? But of course, you have to study hard for it. That's, that student, you really study hard for his grades. So we have a lot of scholarship. Uh, I've shown you before. There are so many scholarships. New Zealand, Queensland, New South Wales, Australia National, all giving scholarship to our students, help students. Uh, so if you study with us, probably if you're thinking of going overseas, or if you don't, even some of them, you don't even think of overseas, you get good results, you can apply for the scholarship. Who knows? Yeah? Macquarie, Wollongong, Tasmania, they're all giving scholarship to our students. And these are the scholarship winners that we have. A long list of them that I have. These are all students who have actually got scholarship from us. These are the later ones. Okay, all together, 194 students from Help University that's already got your scholarship to go to University of Queensland alone. 194. So many of them. Right? And of course, this is the in, uh, uh, also scholarship winners from, from our uh, what I call from our students. From the UK also, we have scholarship for our students. All this, Anger Asking, Bangor, Birmingham, Essex, Middlesex, and so forth. They are giving scholarship to our students. Okay, it's all available, half a share and so forth. Yeah, long list of, of uh, university in UK giving scholarship to our students. So they're all possible. These are all the students who have taken the scholarship and went over to UK. Long list of them, yeah? All right, uh, this is, uh, okay, this I showed you before. Uh, this girl went to UK with a scholarship and came back with the first class. Uh, this is another example of a student studying two years of a degree and went over there for one year and came back. Uh, you know, she got a scholarship of the University of West England. Okay, this, this girl studied the first year with us and then went to Australia National University for a full scholarship. Uh, so this is another success story of our students. This girl is an Indonesian student. She, she got 100% from her school. She had very good result in accounting. Her result is 3.89. So good as that. Very good student. Uh, she got a scholarship, went over to UQ and uh, got a scholarship to do a master's and then she went back to Indonesia to work there. Okay, this is our student, help student. They have won the national uh, regional champion. In Malaysia, they became champion for this uh, CNP stock challenge and we represented Malaysia. Eventually, they went over to uh, Bangkok to, to compete with other countries like Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand and Cambodia eventually became champion. Uh, this is our, all our, our help students. Uh, we even have an ex exchange student, Korean exchange. We have, uh, we have a student. These are the, our Malaysian students who actually went to Korea in 2019. 2020, 20, of course, there's no student who went, went over there because of the pandemic. But we have this program for students, those who want to go to, those people who say, sir, I can't go overseas to study because it's expensive, but I would like to have an experience, overseas experience. You can go there for three, four weeks. When you go to Korea, uh, in, if you get you get a scholarship, you you get a full scholarship. You only need to pay for your air flight only. Air flight to Korea probably uh, two and four, probably about about two thousand, and you can actually study there for about three or four weeks, and then uh, that can come back, and then uh, it's a very good exposure for the student to experience an overseas uh, university in Korea, 
and then you will, you will learn a lot of uh, cultural exchange and so on that. So we have this program in place. This 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 our our Korean exchange. There's so many universities take our help them for this Korean exchange. Okay. Last so, but not least. Okay. I would like to take this opportunity. Okay. That one is uh okay. Sorry, yeah. Okay. This one is apart from that. Uh, we have actually uh uh sorry. Okay. We have this uh, help university. We are five star ranking for the QS. All right, rating, and then we have the larger Bloomberg Lab uh, in uh, in, uh, in Malaysia. And of course, we are also awarded the Premier Digital Tech University for our business faculty because uh, this Premier Digital Tech means uh, our students are very, very exposed to digital uh, stuff. And uh, when they come out, probably they are, they are more employable. Uh, so this is the, 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 the status that given by NDEC to our business faculty and also our IT uh, faculty. Okay. And lately, we have given this, uh, we, are, we are very proud to give you, given this QS ranking for the world, you see ranking 2021, very new. Help me see rank number one in Asia for international student exchange. Yeah, our students have an opportunity to go overseas now. So we are ranked number one in Asia, not only in Malaysia, in Asia. Okay, apart from that, our help students, they are not only uh, about academic, just now you see about academic. Now I show you that actually our help students, they are very, very also active in sports. These are all our help students who represented Malaysia, represented country in different different areas of sports. Uh, synchronized swimming, Sonia Chia, if you know the badminton play was, was our student, taekwondo, uh, gymnastic. These are all our help students. Uh, running athletic, uh, uh, we even have water polo, synchronized swimming, badminton, running and on all that athletic. They, they, they represented even the, the sea games in the last sea games. Some of them, yeah? And then of course, we were very active. In different area, running, taekwondo, even dance. We have two students who actually represented uh, Malaysia in the world championship, uh, dance championship. Uh, so these are all our help students. Okay, these are running, athletic, and all that. Yeah, so these are our help students. Uh, we have uh, even basketball and so forth. Yeah, we are active in all this. Uh, dodgeball, even our students represented uh, the country in the world dodgeball championship, uh, karate. You know, we have in the, in, in the International Karate Championship in Barcelona, Spain, our students are there, right? So, uh, how this how active our students are in sports. Uh, these are actually, uh, this is the dodgeball of our students, help students. Okay, that's the end of my, my talk. Uh, if you have anything to ask, of course, I'm, I'm most happy to, to answer your query. Probably my, my colleague from the CMD probably can help me if they have posted any question in the chat box. Okay, thank you.